So in 2020, for some unexplained reason, I have watched more 90 Day Fiancé than I ever thought I would in my entire life. Because there's nothing that gives you more serotonin than watching people be a mess on reality TV. Or maybe something's just wrong with my brain, but man, the show is addictive. Although I wouldn't say that I'm an expert in these people's lives since I've only watched like compilations and short clips on YouTube. But I do know that Rose's bad breath comes from an ulcer. And Ed probably felt bad after asking her to brush her teeth and shave her legs and get tested for diseases. But not after taking a bath with a hose in front of pigs. Does this sound like made up? Cause it's definitely not. Even when I was saying all this stuff, I was like, what the hell is going on? Anyways, since I've become invested in these couples lives, I thought I would draw them some bad fan art, send it to them and see if they reply. I would send them good fan art if I was good at drawing, but not quite there yet. Hmm, I wonder if I would be doing this if I learned some productive hobbies during quarantine, but too late now. I do have a feeling though that there's a high chance that they'll see it and respond, because after the show ends, most of the cast go onto social media and try and make a career on there. And they're usually pretty active with reposting from what I've seen. But yeah, cut to the montage of me drawing. Oh god. <laughs> it's catchy. Y'all remember that era when everyone hated them? That was so mean. While I'm drawing though, let's take a look at some iconic moments from the show. So the first couple that we're going to be looking at, I'm sure you're all familiar with this face, and this face, and this TikTok. Yeah. Everyone's favorite couple, Big Ed and Rose. Maybe not everyone's favorite, but the most popular couple. So just by looking at this picture of Ed and Rose, it really just sums up their whole entire relationship. No words are needed. Say less, love. Like, this could be a renaissance painting. Historians will study this image in like a thousand years and be like, ah yes, you should not buy someone a toothbrush and mouthwash as a gift. Also, just imagine someone coming across my picture in like a thousand years. They'd be like, ew, why was everyone so bad at drawing back in the day? I just really wanted to capture the disgust and anger in Rose's face. I think it's pretty much all in the eyes. And the mouth. And the eyebrows. Man, just how does she deal with him? I feel bad for her. There's that one episode where they were shopping in Manila, and Rose was trying to help Ed pay for stuff because he had no idea what he was doing. So she wanted to take money from his wallet to pay for stuff, and he was like, you can't grab money out of my wallet. And it's like, okay, that's kind of fair. Like, I wouldn't want someone grabbing money out of my wallet either. But she was trying to freaking help you. And being the charitable queen that she is, she tipped the guy 10 pesos, which then Ed was like, um, I don't think so. But 10 pesos is pretty much like 20 cents in USD. So that was kind of frustrating to watch. You think if you were going to a foreign country, you'd probably spend some time researching about the place before you went. A flight to the Philippines from the US is like, I don't know, 24 hours? 80 hours? I actually have no idea because I've never been. But you could have read a book on the plane. I don't know if you did or not, but anyways, I'm gonna draw Ed next. So for Ed's picture, I'm gonna draw him in this snazzy looking orange shirt. His whole entire aesthetic is uh, very interesting. I saw a picture of him like back in the day and he actually looked not bad. So I'm not really sure when the turning point was when he went from looking like this to putting mayo in his hair. Ed please, we need that mayo to feed the children. Their sandwiches are so dry. Well, no judgment, we all go through phases. But when he started putting the mayo in his hair, I felt like I could smell everything through my screen. The mayo and everything else. Has anyone tried this before though? Let me know if it works. Because if it does, then watch out Beauty Guru Lifehack channels. Big Ed is on his way to Halik, you guys. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so Big Ed is quite active on TikTok, and um, it's pretty much exactly what you think Big Ed's TikTok would be like. Pretty much every other TikTok that he's posted has been the exact same thing of him doing that meme with Rose, hey, I like the view. And you can slowly see him becoming more dead each time he does it. I kind of feel bad for him. He's probably so sick of doing this all the time. But if he's not going to do this, what else is he going to do? Um, a mukbang? Ah, yes, Big Ed eating Korean food makes it look very appetizing, especially the fly hovering around the plate. Ew. Yes, King ate this up. Glad there's some left for me. It looks like he has merch. Let's check out his merch. Okay, so we have a mug that says Iconic. <coughs> Am I allowed to laugh? <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? So the first time I saw him, I was like, huh, what an interesting look. I just thought he was like a short guy with a short neck. So if he lost all that weight, his neck would appear from underneath all that stuff. But from doing some research, he actually has like a disease or like a syndrome where his neck bone is fused with something else. So that's why he looks like that. So yeah, I felt kind of bad because everyone was making fun of the way he looks, even though he can't help it. But he's literally monetizing his neck thing now. So I don't feel that bad anymore. And good for him. Monetize whatever you can. And if I had like the same condition as him, I would probably monetize it too. Actually, I don't really want to think about that. <laughs> On to the next thing. Sorry. Looking at his Instagram, it's pretty much the same thing as his TikTok, except in Instagram form. Rose's Instagram, on the other hand, like, look at her thriving after breaking up with Big Ed. I also heard she didn't get paid while she was on the show, so what's up with that? 
Okay, so the alien emoji called and was like, I don't think I gave you permission. I also gave her a little toothpick arm. How's she gonna defend herself from Big Ed when he wants to halik? I don't think I've drawn collarbones before and I really don't think this is it. Kinda looking like two bones from a bucket of KFC. Actually, it kinda looks like a necklace. Ooh, a KFC necklace. How delicious. I got her America's Next Top Model pose right though. Tyra's gonna love this and her four hairs. <laughs> And for some reason, I had to make sure her edges were laid, which begs the question, why'd I give her edges? And why did Tyra make people change races for a photo shoot? We have so many questions today. Rose's TikTok, however, is actually, it's confusing, but at the same time, it's kind of fun. Like, <laughs> what? We love a good Tagalog song. She just seems like a fun person to be around. Wow, imagine being traumatized <laughs> when Big Ed asked if he could halik her and she was like, May I halik you? You just go halik that wall. Alright, so the next couple that I'm familiar with is Danielle and Mohammed. So I watched this couple at the very beginning of the year, and there are a few moments that are permanently scarred into my brain now. One of them was Mohammed saying that he couldn't sleep with Danielle because she smells, and he was saying that she had like problems down there and she should go to a doctor. Oh my god, why is this in my brain? Like, so freaking messy, man. Why would you say that on national television and embarrass someone like that? Like, if I was in her shoes, uh, say goodbye to wearing dresses or skirts. Although, if she played her cards right, she could maybe get, like, a sponsorship to, like, help. <laughs> what, what am I saying? You know what, though? Times are different. Like I said, you can monetize anything, so if you have something wrong with you, you can make money off of it. I mean, why not, right? You're already embarrassed in front of, like, a million people, so might as well make some money. Sitting on the floor, crying, screaming in front of her teenagers, I want my sex tonight. If you don't give me my sex tonight, I will, I will, I will call the immigration, I will get you deported. Oh Danielle, God. can you tell us what he's talking about? He has told people that I smell and you I do. peed on him. Okay, this person here? Ah, okay, I see. This is what they mean when someone's about to risk it all. She really threatened to call immigration on him. If I was working in immigration and I got a call like this, I would just deport myself and never come back to America because this is insane. Also, I'm not really sure who I drew here. It doesn't really look like Mohammed. It kind of looks like Zayn Malik. Hmm, maybe I'm just missing Zayn Malik. What happened to that One Direction reunion we were promised? That happened in my dreams, probably. From what I've seen though, they're actually on good terms now. Mohammed is like a truck driver and just traveling everywhere with his dog. And Danielle is an Instagram baddie. She lost some weight, she got a new weave, some new clothes. Like damn, look at this drip. We we respect the drip. Goth girls, y'all better hide your emo boyfriends cause Danielle is on the loose. LA girls better hide their sugar daddy boyfriends with three other girls on the side cause Danielle is hitting the town tonight. The next couple that I'm gonna draw is Nicole and Azan. Azan? Azan? I watched them at the same time I watched Danielle and Mohammed and I remember having a headache the whole entire time I was watching. Like, you know those people that say, I baby, like me, when I have to make a doctor's appointment? Nicole was basically the embodiment of I baby mixed with, like, entitled Karen. Because when she went to Morocco, Azan told her that they couldn't touch or hug in public, and she was like, but I need affection. I'm a woman who needs touch and affirmation and cute little things like that. And it's like, okay, that's nice, but have you tried respecting people's cultures? That's pretty fun. There was also that one time when he tried to help her lose weight, and she did like one push-up and she started crying <laughs> like girl why are you crying it's just a push-up and like i don't know two minutes of running although honestly i don't like working out either so maybe her reaction is fair well i guess i can see where she's coming from if i was mildly inconvenienced to do something that i didn't really want to do i would do a really bad job of it so they would never ask me again <laughs> nicole that is some big brain thinking good job so the very last couple that i'm gonna draw is devin and jihoon the thing is though when i was looking at everyone's social media um i noticed that devin actually follows me on Instagram. I also keep wanting to call her Devon because her name is spelled differently from the other Devons that I've seen. Like when I see her name my brain's like Devon but nope it's it's Devon. So I'm actually excited to send her and Ji Woon fan art but I'm also scared because she might unfollow me so stay tuned. Would you unfollow me if you saw this? I also noticed that she followed me around the same time I created Ian so I wonder if she's a Lee's buy-in. Do you think I should ask her? Oh my god <laughs> she, she's gonna unfollow me for sure. Hey Devon. Hey Devin, 
Are you a fellow Lee's buy-in? By the way, I drew this ugly fan art of you. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on asking on that. At first when I saw her Instagram, I was like, who the hell is this? Cause I saw her on 90 Day Fiance first, which was filmed a while ago. And usually as time goes on, people tend to look a little bit better. Like she looks so good in all these pictures that I thought it was another person. Devin also has a YouTube channel that I watched a few videos from cause it was like spilling the tea about 90 Day Fiance. And I was like, oh, she's really different compared to how they portrayed her on the show. Like obviously it's reality TV, right? So all the situations that they're showing are gonna be high stress and crazy and everyone's gonna be like stressed out. Like when I was watching clips of them, I was so like so mad at some parts and just so frustrated for them. Like why didn't you guys plan this out better or why didn't you do this or that? But I mean, say what you want about them, this scene here is probably one of the most iconic scenes in the show. Jihoon might have not had any money at this point, but at least everyone's butts were clean. Alright, so I have all my drawings here. They're all done. Oh my god. And I will be sending all these pictures to my friends and see if I get a reply. Yeah, I really hope that they enjoy my fan art. They'll either be like, thank you so much, or they'll be like, me. So I went on Instagram and sent a very nice DM to everyone. Basically saying, hi, I drew this fan art of you. Not very good at drawing, but I drew it. Anyways, I also did the same on Twitter as well, hoping that 90 Day Fiancé will show Big Ed and Rose. A couple days after sending those DMs and the tweet, this is what happened. Hi, okay, so I have some good news. I actually got a reply. And surprisingly, it was a good one. So far with all the 90 Day Fiancé people, I haven't been blocked by any of them. I have been blocked once in the past because I sent someone bad fan art, but they did unblock me, so it's all good. I was just minding my own business the day after, and I saw that I got a DM from Devin. So Devin responded to my DM and said that she really liked my drawing. And I was like, oh my god, she is so nice. Is she just humoring me so she doesn't hurt my feelings? But then she asked if she could have the drawing so she could frame it. And she also asked if I could sign it for her. So here you go. Devin, this is for you. Where, where should I sign it? Wow, <laughs> a professional. Look how impressed she is. Well, Devin and Jihoon, expect a surprise in the mail in a week or so. Wow, I'm excited. Is this my first step into becoming an actual artist and selling my work across the world? Probably not, but anyways, let me know in the comments if you want me to draw anyone else. Who are some innocent people that are just minding their own business and are about to be attacked with some bad fan art? If you want to watch some more videos of me drawing, these ones are pretty good. If you want to know the answer to who blocked me for drawing them very badly, just watch one of these videos. I'm sure you'll find it. Well, until my next video, if you guys want to help me out and tag some of these people in these drawings, I would really appreciate it. It is time for me to get on TLC's blacklist as well. Okay, bye!